Hey everybody, um, happy Friday. I was told that these five minute videos were a little bit more successful. Um, at least I've heard from some community members. So hopefully um, hopefully we'll do another little five minute one. Yes, I'm the it's the teeter totter guy. Um, maybe, maybe I'll be known as the teeter totter guy. At least that means that people are hearing more and more about this referendum. So I wanted to cover two pieces on this little five minute video. Um, kind of explain a little bit better about, you know, that centerpiece. I, I think people understood property values go up and uh, rate goes down. I, I think that seems to be pretty concrete. But um, again, that question of, well, why why is it that if my value, my property goes up, the school doesn't see more money? Um, and again, that's a good business model. And the second one is to talk about that rate in comparison of what you have paid to what you could pay. Um, so here we go. So here's our teeter-totter again. You know, As I said, the higher the value, the lower the rate. Well, that let's use a, a, a better context. Um, um, the Ricketts, I'm, I'm, I'm Reinsdorf, whomever you want to do, and I have ticket sales. So instead of them saying, you know, we're going to charge 30, 40, 50, 15, uh, whatever they happen to do for ticket sales, instead, they're going to come out next year. They're, not. they're going to come out and say, you know what, to make, uh, to make our payroll, we just need $9 million in ticket sales. That's all we need. Um, so that's what the, you know, the Ricketts and the Reinsdorfs arise, the Sox people, uh, Reinsdorf wants to say, uh, I'm a Cubs fan. Sorry if that offends you guys. So what they're saying is I want $9 million. Okay. So going to example, uh, like we did, if more people buy tickets, they can, they'll charge you less per ticket. If less people buy tickets, they'll have to charge more per ticket, but they'll never, ever, ever get more than what is requested, which is the 9 million. Same with the school system. We'll never get more than what we can request. So no matter how many people buy tickets, um, you'll see never will I get into more than $9 million. No matter our property values, the school system can never actually get more than what is requested. So if the Ricketts get lots of people to buy tickets, they charge less, they still get $9 million. So the next year they come around, Reinsdorf says, you know what? We can go up by that CPI. Next year we want $9.1 million. So again, we, we're going to go up a little bit. And then if more people, because the socks are great, um, this year, more people are buying tickets. Good news, the ticket prices go down. Um, if you're Bears, because the Bears are going to be bad for a little bit, well, less people want to go see it, they got to charge more per ticket. Um, but at no point in time will they say, because we already told, we told us we want $9.1 million, um, they'll never change that. So the school district, same thing. We can only ask for a certain amount of money, and then your property values affect what that rate looks like. Okay. And so this, this rate is what we're looking to address with that referendum to help our operating costs, um, our budget money. And so by, um, by doing that, what it allows us to do is move that revenue request up to a 575. And then as time goes on, if your property continues to go up, um, which it did six and a half percent this last year, um, your rate will continue going back down. Um, so property values in Beecher went up 6.5%. The revenue request went up. Uh, the CPI was 1.05. The actual revenue up was 1.9. So that's the first thing. And then the second thing, um, um, the question, here's the hand guy again. Um, at 20, in 2020, the rate was 635. In 2021, the rate is going to be 607. So that is the overall rate because you guys have a bond payment. You have that uh, a loan, if you will. You have a loan that you're done paying for. And so right now you're at um, you were at 635. The property value went up, so the rate went down to 607. Um, your limiting rate is actually 489. So that what happens is it goes from here, and you're going to be down to 489 if you don't have a bond payment at all. And so what we've what I've asked for in this referendum is to go from that 635 instead of dropping all the way down here to instead find right in the middle ground because there's no more bond payment, okay? So 635, 608, and what happens is without the bond payment, it goes down to 49. And so the referendum is asking to recapture some of that money for operating costs going back to kids right towards the middle there, okay? So that's what we're looking for. So your overall rate, if you if you it fluctuates, I get it. So it's 635. 608 and then we're looking to again take that rate and go down a little bit more to 575 yes the truth is if you if it doesn't pass your rate goes all the way down here but i also get the revenue from down here 
So what I'm asking for in the referendum, or we're asking for in the referendum is at 575, that's the revenue we're looking to get. So just for reference, at 607, I don't get this revenue because there's a bond. I have a, say, um, um, I have a loan. So actually this year, we're down about here, 50, uh, 507 is the limiting rate. So this is the revenue I'm getting. Even though you're paying taxes up here, this is the revenue I'm getting because of that bond payment. So what I'm asking for is when that bond payment's done, we, we the rate will go down again to 575 because that bond payment's gone. So the revenue will come up. And that's kind of weird that your overall tax rate is actually going to go down because the bond payment's gone and the revenue is going to go up. That's what this referendum is looking to do. Okay. And it goes towards operating costs, not to reserves. If you want to know the difference between those, watch the last seven minute video. Uh, so other than that, uh, happy Friday. Hope everybody has a, hope everyone's enjoyed the nice weather this week. I know it was a little hot. Um, a little front's going to come through here. I'm not Tom Skilling, um, but at least he, he's told me that the front's going to come through. It's going to be a nice uh, cool off. It's still going to be in the 70s. So enjoy the weekend uh, and take care.